like a diamond. You look like Rihanna. I'm like Rihanna, but black and her and balder than Rihanna, because she's got a forehead. Oh. Bigger than larger than life. Yeah, so what are we doing today? We just here kicking it, talking shit, you know, we're chilling with the Venezuelan. And you know the the fame of the Venezuelans. Yeah. We're gonna go deep into this whole Venezuela conversation. How did, how did Bush change their country? Oh, your glasses. Thank you very much. This is, um, in case this gets boring, then I can just close this. Close. <laughs> this shit never gets boring. <laughs> we make sure it doesn't get boring because we drink till we hit the floor. I'm actually kind of drunk right now. That's a good way to start. We've never actually had somebody start and drink. Uh, drunk on the podcast. Other than right? ourselves. Other than ourselves. So we right. try to do that. So, I know I'm getting a little bored, so you want to, like, uh, accompany him with a song? I shall do. Yeah, try it, try it. Let's see what you got. One, two. Ooh. I'm Lisa Capella. I'm bringing the fire to get the love of the podcast. And yes, I'm Venezuela. Yeah. I'm La Veneca. <laughs> and I embrace it. to be said. Welcome to episode number 57 of the Columbia Podcast. You want something else in there? I got nothing else to say. You killed it. We're done. Sorry. Welcome to the Columbia Podcast. My name is Andrew Messia and my name is Joel Duncan and this is episode 57. Right, Joel? 57. 57, yes. 57. And today is a very special day because today we have a full house. Yep. We do record in front of a live audience. Mi gente, make a noise. That's actually the uh, national anthem of Venezuela. (laughs) We obviously have We all know how to sing it. So if you want to be part of the live studio audience, all you got to do is Bring some beer. Yeah. <laughs> or a bottle of rum. Or a bottle of rum, or some wine, or some champagne, or, or I hear Louis upstairs. Yeah, so so if, you, you thaw. if you hear ambient noise, by the way, we do record in one of our apartments, yeah. uh, which is on the street here in Medellin, so you're probably going to hear cars going by, maybe an ambulance, yeah. maybe maybe someone yelling, maybe a, a bum ringing our doorbell, because it does happen. It does happen. Asking for money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, again, I'm Andrew Messia. Thank you and welcome to the Columbia Podcast. Let's uh, get into it, Joel. Joel, uh, let's talk about what we're drinking today. Well, you know we're always drinking something. Apparently yeah. people think that this is a show where they learn about different types of alcohol, uh, so it seems. But today, because uh, we're celebrating our Venezuelan guest, we're drinking uh, Ron Diplomatico wow. Verde, which is, you know, it costs about 20,000 pesos more, so we're actually, you know... Wait, how much is that? Wait, how, let's, let's inform the people. How much is that? I don't even remember. 170,000 pesos. 170,000 pesos converted to dollars. You divide by three and a half or so to get your calculator. You're looking at about $55 US right. more. So, so 50, 55 dollars. Okay, so that's what we got here. And um, we're nearly done, and we're now starting the podcast, so uh, my apologies. Uh, it is nearly done. Seriously, it's nearly done. Uh, we have this because, of course, uh, what's I don't even know how you say this. JP Chenette, what is that? Ch- Chenet? Dude, I've, I studied French for three years. It's JP Chenet. 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 New York. Chenet. Chenet. <laughs> so, so it's nice. It's like a fizzy drink. It's called fizzy rose and it tastes like um, lychees or lychees. Lychees. Um, and this is what we're doing in between the rum and, and beer. And if everything else fails, we've got our uh, usual beers from uh, Metropole Beer Lab uh, one block away. Shout out and, to Jose and Metropole. Yep, yeah, shout out to them. And if all else fails, we got some backup stuff over in the kitchen, which is right over that wall. Yeah. Yeah. We got Shiv uh, as the bartender. He's a, he's a good bartender. And so this shows a lot more than drinking, you know. Um, we do do that because uh, we're socially awkward and we need a little bit of drinks to loosen up and, uh, and start really- talking to you people. Um, so who do we- who do we have on our show today? <laughs> oh, okay. wait a second! Wait a oh, second! I thought you were saying, what the hell was going on? Wait, hey, hey, do that That's again! What I mean. Would you do that again? But that, that wasn't this guy. That was our guest. <laughs> all right, that was our guest. Hey, all right, all right. Lita, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got a bit nervous. I'm not going to hide it. So. Okay. Hmm. 
My name is Lita Candela. I'm a Venezuelan artist living in Medellin, slash um, cat mom, slash entrepreneur, uh -huh. slash I play volleyball also. Yeah, yeah. So I do a lot of things, and I have been living here for the past six years of my life. Uh -huh. And yeah, go ahead. Ask and and, and how, how the hell did you end up on in this set, random set? How did you end up here tonight? Oh, Tell us how you ended up here tonight. Because I don't even know how you ended up here tonight. Uh, yeah, Andrew, okay. do you know how she ended up here tonight? I have no idea. Some I have no random idea. girl in a yellow shirt sitting on our, on our, on our furry Very thing. loud. Oh, see, yeah. How did you I, end I up here? I feel very important by you the are, way. You're, you're the queen. You're like, reign that today. Thank you very much. Yes. yes. All right, so there was a day where I was walking uh, from, you know, here in Poblado, and there was a guy, weird guy, and then he approached and he Andrew? said, mm, we'll get there, okay. right? Okay. So uh, he approached me and said, like, seriously, we're neighbors, so we always saw each other from, ¿Cómo se dice lejos? From far. From, from far, far. Yeah. right. So one day he said, like, you're everywhere, and I said, yes! And he was like, what's your name? I was like, Carla, yours. And he said, like, Joel. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, what was then? Ah, then I was walking and this guy, he was boxing. And he was like, oh, hey, hey, hey. And then the other day I was walking again and he was walking again. He was like, what's new? And I was like, what's new? And we started talking and this happened. Somehow. This happened. You, you actually, actually, if, if I recall how it goes, you sent me a message and you said, we need to meet. See, right. I said to him, like, uh, first I said, like, uh, follow me on Instagram. And then I said, I followed him and I was follow like, we need to, we need to talk. Uh -huh. We need to talk. But you know, he ignored me. Right to your face. You yeah, ignored I did, me. I, 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 you I ignored read the message. Me. Called, it's, it's part of the game. No, what game? No. No, 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 me call that. No, he ignored me. a little bit. And then yeah, yeah, that's how they end up sitting in this, this seat. They're like, they didn't want me over there, now they do. It's like, ah, it's not yet. It's well, it worked. Yeah, it worked. It worked, it worked. It worked. It worked. perfectly. Uh -huh. I read the game, people. <laughs> and it worked. Uh, I just but, saw the show on VH1. Did you? Yeah. Is it good? Like, uh, I saw like three episodes, and that was good. I gotta watch it. So, Lita, mm -hmm. so you're Venezuelan? Mm hmm. And uh, so you came six years ago yeah. to Medellin. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a, a bunch of shit happening in, in Venezuela, yeah. which we won't go into because we don't much, really yeah. talk about politics very much in here. Yeah. But um, when you came to Medellin six years ago, you came alone or did, do you have family here? Right. So I came with my husband. We mm. came here in a love adventure. <laughs> a love, love adventure. adventure to Medellin. That's, not, that's what I like to call it. Right? Isn't that like taking sand to the beach? Like what kind of man takes Wait, his girl I, to I a love adventure to Medellin? Love that's like the most uh, silly thing I've ever heard in my life. That's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's that's cool. cool. That is cool. Right? That is, that is cool. cool. That is a real adventure. Yeah, I would love to go on a love adventure. Like, to Medellin? Yes. No, to anywhere. Like well, you share your life for real. Yeah, but you're coming from Venezuela where they're also very beautiful women in Venezuela. Okay, I guess so. Ah, you're, so not, you're not coming from like Kentucky with your <laughs> walrus well, to Medellin. You're for, coming from like a beautiful I'm just country. saying, if I just married a girl and I'm going on a love adventure, I'm going to like... Bahrain? Have, yeah. <laughs> To Bahrain, I'm gonna go to the uh, United Arab Emirates, where nobody sees yeah. anybody. And or, only girl that or that <laughs> one island near Cartagena that's like over okay. there. Nobody gets to see her, just me and her. So yeah, so you're on a love a love fest. See, okay, so we were about to graduate from college and things were starting to get bad at Venezuela. Uh -huh. He said to me one day we were, uh, I think we were having dinner, and he said like, uh, "You want to go to Medellin?" And I said, "Yeah, let's go." At this point, you're married, or what are you? Are you just right now, we are married. But then you weren't. Then, then we weren't. Then we weren't. Uh, we were just boyfriend and girlfriend, and nice. we were about to get the diploma from college, so we were figuring out life because it was obvious that things in Venezuela were going to look bad, right? So I have family here in Medellin, and he also has family here, so it was really easy. My dad is from here, and I get all the papers, so it's quite easy and we just literally we came here with our backpacks okay. like no plans yeah for real yeah except to love each other Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> my, my life sounds so depressing right now. No, no, no. Oh, wow. I, 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 had the, I had the same story, but it was me and Andrew. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
that didn't work out the way that we thought it would. No babies. We can't. He can't have children. Uh, oh, I tried. You can't have children. I'm Latino. I'm Latino. I tried. We wanted an interracial baby. It never happened. I stopped taking the pill. Yeah, that's so, that's so we started a podcast. I stopped taking the pill on purpose. Yeah, but that's very not Latino of you to not have kids. I mean, yeah, yeah. You should it didn't know work. Maybe he's shooting blanks. <laughs> I'm a blank shooter and a blue pill guy. So, uh, Lita. So, uh, so you came six years ago to Medellin. You've been living now with your husband this whole time. Uh, do you have kids now, or? Well, I've got a cat. You have a cat. That's kind of like a kid. Yeah. Not like a, okay, it's yeah. like a kid. Ball. Yeah. No, it no. It takes care of itself. It's a kitten. It's a kitten. <laughs> is it? Is the perfect kid? Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. a kitten. Exactly. So, uh, Joel loves him. I'm actually dangerously allergic to cats, by the way, and. Um, the cat came into one of her apartments for us. No, not, the cat didn't just come in. She brought the cat, like, look at it, it's so cute. Yo, and I'm like, God, I was like oh, shooting shit. the hairs and shit into my eyes from far, and then that's why I'm like. Oh, she actually shit. lives, by the way, in, I, I, in, in yeah. the building where we have one of our apartments. Yeah. That is why that we, we run into each other a lot, because we're neighbors. Yeah, that, we're neighbors. That's actually why, and we're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, people are going to learn about that, that yeah. soon. Um, yeah, so, um, so you came here. With your man, yeah. with a backpack, yeah. your dad lives here? Uh, he's a hippie, so it's complicated, but let's say yes. No shit, your dad's a hippie. Your dad's uh, a hippie? That's see. so cool. I... No, <laughs> not quite. But Why yeah. not? You're a hippie. You're a fucking hippie. You're wearing like some red ass on no! and a yellow shirt. I... The most colorful guest so far, other than See, me. no. Also, my mom is kind of a hippie too, so I'm pretty normal. Okay, you're pretty you're the more normal. See, si, actually. Okay. So he lives here, yeah, let's say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys close? See, 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 we're super close, yeah. Okay. My mom and my dad never really got married, so my okay. mom got married with my stepdad, who is like, I love him. Like, okay. Really. More than your real dad? No. Okay, Dang, that's pretty good. Right? I got a check. Do you love your stepdad more than your real dad? I don't have a stepdad. Exactly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with no in case he sees this. So definitely no. You, in case he sees this. Yeah. Just check it. Yeah. This is the type of show where we like to get real, 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 real and expose things. It's an expose. Okay, so wait. So you're with your backpack. And what's, your, what's your husband's name? Ah. Carlos. And your name is? Carla. That's so cute. Perfect match. So yeah. That's Carla. what I knew. That's what I knew. Carla. Lita. Carlita. Carlita. Oh, I like Lita. That's what I figured it out. That's what I figured it out. I know. I figured it out. I figured, that's why I figured it out. <laughs> that's what that's I figured, why I figured it out. That's why I figured, that's that's why I figured, that's why I figured it out. That's so, so wait. So you, so you guys with your backpack, uh -huh. you got... Carl, Carlitos, uh -huh. Carlita. Uh -huh. um, you got your dad, the hippie over there, living in Parque RV or something like Carla. that. And then, what? What happened? How did you decide to stay? Why did you stay here? Or what happened? Right. So um, definitely, there was no going back to Venezuela. You know, mm -hmm. that, that was not an option. So we pretty much were like, this needs to be good. Okay. No matter what, there's no plan B. Okay. I think that's actually the answer because wow. things got really, like for me especially, because yeah. Carlos is very, like man, you know, with emotions and all that, he's like in control of what he feels and things and that. I agree. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> so, no. So you're not it, emotional. Very. So it got really hard for me sometimes, right? So, but there was no plan B, so whatever, suck it and just keep going. Yeah. I, I thought you were... Expecting something more emotional? No, 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 no. <laughs> that is interesting because a lot of people don't come here to Colombia with that kind of story. You know, it's right. like it, you're basically coming for a better life or for See? looking for, for an opportunity. And you guys did find it because I know you guys uh, somewhat. I know, I think I know your, your, your husband more than I know you, Probably. but that's why you're here. Um, you came here looking for an opportunity, and I think you guys found it. And uh, not everybody comes here looking for an opportunity. Maybe a different type of opportunity, not economical. I know that a lot of uh, gringos and Europeans and people from other countries come here looking for an opportunity, maybe uh, uh, for, a, for a, uh, a better quality of life mm -hmm. that they can afford, maybe for love, maybe for friendships. Maybe for for a better weather weather than in their in their home country, but you are literally coming into this country looking for something better, and I'd say that you've probably found it. That's why you're here. And Joel, do you like art? That's a fucking switch. <laughs> 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 
You threw me off so bad. I found a good thing. Wait, I'm, 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 firstly, I love art. I am art. I'm art in motion. But uh, but we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna I'm gonna circle come back. back. I'm gonna circle back. back. I, I love art. Andy. You, you love art. art. I, I I do because I was looking at you and then I saw this big thing over here. By the way, oh, uh, if you want to look at this uh this this big thing over here, yeah. which is yeah. pretty damn cool. Like it's pretty much a thing. You made that. I did. You yeah. did that. Uh, yeah. You, you want to hear the story? Let's hear the story. Let's hear the story of your art. Uh, I just first I want to ask, what do you think? Like. Kind of, like kind of short. What do you think I was feeling when I painted this? Like, if you say, oh, I, I know. Okay. I see a penis. <laughs> <laughs> there, I, right there. All right. And sperm. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I know what you were thinking. I don't judge, so fine. Yeah. Well, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I I was really good at drawing. Okay. Penises. Okay. Uh, and that was you know, a like. <laughs> And, and sometimes, I, you know, I'd get in trouble, but at the same time, I just love to draw penises. Okay. And, and, and it was something that I was very good at. Okay. So that's why I see a penis there. So you're probably horny when you saw that. Um, when you... No. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to say that you were in the jungle. You were in the jungle? Hmm. Either you were in the jungle or you came out of the jungle. Oh. All right. So round and round. Thank you very much. All right. Now that we know that we're not into art that much, <laughs> that's, uh, we're not okay. So... When I painted this, it was actually my 20s, uh, 2017, 2017, yeah, 2017 uh, breakdown. Your breakdown? Your breakdown. Like emotionally. Okay. Like, right. Like I, when I came here from Venezuela, well, you have to know, when I was in Venezuela, my art thing was starting to get noticed and reconocida. Yeah, noticed, noticed. 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 noticed, of course. And then when we came here, the other things went well, thank you, you know, God, whatever, yeah. energy, thank I'm, I'm not being ungrateful, but definitely my artwork had a huge setback when okay. we came here, because uh, it's different, it's, it's different cultures, it's different everything, so in Venezuela, I could easily sell this, like, well sell, sold in here, it's different, paisas are different, are harder to negotiate, some things that are highly important for things for purple, people like Venezuelans, like having an artwork at your house, might not be that super important here. So definitely my brand suffered a lot when I came here and we arrived here on the 2015. So I basically um, went to think like, we need to pay bills, we need to actually you know work. So I went to work in a graphic design office, which was okay. Mm -hmm. It was good. I'm not saying like I had nothing moments, which would make it easier because then I will be like, I'm sad because I'm having a bad moment, but I was good. But my artwork was definitely in no man's land, you know? So I stopped, I stopped. I, I took like a one year uh, angry stop. Yeah, I was hiatus. Like, See, like yeah. I was angry at life, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, Aah! and then on 2017, I had like an awful year because of this. Exactly because of this, because my artwork was like, I didn't know what to do. Should I continue? No one here cares. Actually, well, uh, I'm saying it. No one cared when they should. And I was like, what? Well. So no one day, cared about your art. See. Okay. Or that's the way I took it. Okay. Now I understand it wasn't like that. But when when I was like unknown, so unknown, I felt like no one cares. I was the painting is useless. Blah blah blah. But then I came back to my painting, and I came back big. Okay. Uh, that's what I painted the most and this was one of the things that I wanted to like so this was yeah. basically a picture of how my mind looked back then <sighs> but, uh <-huh. laughs> exactly so yeah now you can understand like a lot of thoughts going on a lot of things uh -huh. like uh, it all looked very bad in my head but yeah. really not in life so this is one of the pieces I will never ever sell who 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 that's absolutely beautiful. You will never sell? No, because... No, because wait, you know wait, what, wait, what if I offered you... Okay, so... I can do it. I want you to get there. There's, a, there's, a, there's a price for everything. That's, amazing. I know that's an amazing sales strategy. <laughs> right there. I, that's amazing. I will never... You should have waited. I was going to offer a lot. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, wait.
I, I, I do like that. Andrew's part, of, amazing. Andrew's part of a, a drawing group, a Facebook oh, art group. Oh, really? Yeah. And he sends me the funniest I do actually screenshots. <laughs> Did you I draw, draw penis? Yes. No, no, no. Okay. Penises. I mean, I'm penis. not here to judge, you know? <laughs> he sends me the screenshots of those penis. funny, funny art pieces. And um, so I just want Andrew to look over here, and I want you to tell, because you had a lot in your mind when you did this, right? Yeah. Who, who, who's this guy? <laughs> who's that guy? That's Carlito. He's got two little hands. That's, that's Carlito. Like, that Car Car what is going on over here? Wait, is that Carlito? Like, what, what, what is this going on over here? Right, so, um... <laughs> That's the only thing that actually looks like a living thing. creature. Actually, <laughs> all of them look like little uh, cells or amoebas. Right? Well, that that guy knows. Knows. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah I know like he's involved. Yeah, he's involved. Okay, so uh, I have no idea. Sorry. Okay, cool. I wish okay. I could give you. You just need to fill up the space. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I do like to somehow, I don't know why, I like to recreate what jungle and nature actually looks to me. This okay. is what I think nature really looks. That's really cool. Okay. Right? I, I because, love it, man. I thank think it's amazing. you. Because you see, like, if you see this, and, well, I was in college and I took, like, long color, color, uh -huh. color yeah. uh, classes, and there's a theory that explains that we only see, like, less than half of real colors. Like, yeah. our eyes aren't able to see it, right? So I like to say and think that this is just like half of what it is really. Yeah. Because nature is alive, right? right. It's an energy, it's like, it's a fact. Yeah. So I like to think that this is all like this, right? Uh -huh. So there are some times where I like to put what I think will be a worm or an ant or maybe that's what was I was yeah, trying like to do. Yeah, worm. like yeah. a live yeah. thing, yeah. Or it's Carlos. Or it's Carlos. Or it's Carlos. Carlos. It's a sick way to paint your husband. That's fucking... <laughs> Oh, it could be Carlos after that whole thing. Yeah, but, but like, this this is oh, right, this is a good thing. Um, every time people ask me things about my paintings, I lie. Like, oh, great. And that's how you sell them. No, because you they make, get like, really. An incredible story. See, because they, they're expected, yeah. expecting something I huge. And when I say, like, I was depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah. okay, that's not, I don't want your art now. But when <laughs> all the people ask me, I'm like, yes, no, I'm going to tell you this. Like, specifically this energy that you feel when it's all Yeah, that's yeah, no, all that. So I, well, I, 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 I totally that. understand the thing you're talking about color because on my 30th birthday, which was just like a year ago, um, I, uh, I did eye surgery, you know, the whole laser See? thing. And literally the two weeks after my eye surgery was the first time that I actually saw what vibrant colors were for the first time in my life. Oh, I get to. Like a sunset, everything was like, whoa, it's such an incredible sunset. People were like, no, that's the same sunset like yesterday, but everything seemed more orange, more green, more whatever. So you were in mushrooms, basically. We were talking about <laughs> mushrooms, you know, because I was going to ask you. So, um, I was going to ask you about the mushroom culture in Venezuela. Uh, okay, you know, and what's, Go what's going on with that? Uh, okay, so first of all, I uh, know you're expecting, strongly expecting for me to say that I do LSD and mushrooms and all psychedelic drugs. I don't. So, sorry. Okay, all right, so that, that conversation just uh, ended right there. Podcast is done. No, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but. <laughs> yeah, yes, but. Uh, this year, I will turn 30, right? Mm -hmm. Things really? can happen. 29? I am. How old do I look? Uh, oh, I thought you were like 19. Thank you very much. That means that when I'm 40... And where are you going? Where are you going for the 30th birthday? I'm planning something really big. I'm making a big uh, thing out of it. I'm going to Palomino. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. My friends recommended me. And yeah. just, this year, I'm like, what? Yes. What? Yes. 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 Check. Yes. Everything yes. go. Let's go. Um, RSVP. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's like, go. Is, let's is go. Is your girlfriends are going and me and Andrew. I see. What's your, what's your birthday? Uh, August 6th. August 6th, you heard it. Go to Palomino on August 6th. <laughs> what if we just, 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 just take three. over her party and we make it like we a should. Columbia podcast See? for yeah, night party? Okay. No one cares about our 30th. Uh, 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 and we're just like Columbia podcast t-shirts. No, man, we were just in Palomino just uh, a couple weeks ago. It's yes. the most amazing party. We were actually contemplating going this weekend again. Yes. Just yes. like, this is a 45-minute trip. I mean, you just go, uh, be like Columbia. And, uh, well, it's more than 45 minutes, maybe like yeah. an hour, but... Anyway, that's, we that's get there and, and, and you're on the beach and, oh man, you got the DJs. The party. Uh, I party until 11.30 and then go to bed. You know, what? Uh, that's actually the truth. He did go to bed at 11.30. <laughs> he actually bought a bottle, had a shot, and was like, I'm too old for this, and went home. He legitimately did that. And I'm like, that's too the old for what? That's the worst way to advertise like, yeah, 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 No, no, no. I'll, yeah, don't worry. You'll, there's more, more for you to enjoy if I go to bed early. So, so let's let's get back on track here for right. one quick second. So you got married to Carlos when? Uh huh. Eh, another story. <laughs> well, 
There was a thing that when we came here on the one 2015, we needed to uh, help him get the papers, right? Because I got my papers. Uh -huh. So we did it. Because uh, your dad is a hippie. My dad is yeah. hippie Colombian, yeah. Hippie. So we got married on the 2015. Okay, 2015. Uh, but uh, there's a thing I don't believe in weddings and all that. Yeah, yeah. I think it gets me nervous. It's not like yeah. I don't believe in it. So we basically went and just signed the thing and that's it, you know. Of course, Carlos was like, we should do something, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, that jinx it. I'm very, like, yeah, yeah. superstitious, a lot. So I was like, no, people get married, things get bad. <laughs> so yeah. let's let's keep being boyfriend and girlfriend, you know. Yeah, we're married, okay. But let's not do, like, the wedding thing that gets me nervous, anxious. I think everything's going to be bad. So mm -hmm. let's not. And we're like, okay, chill, okay, whatever you say. So yeah, we got married on the 2015 April. And did you ever date? Uh, did you ever date a Colombian man? No, but my sister, yeah. she is uh, single, and I lived through her. <laughs> like, well, how old? For, for, for first, first of all, let's talk about your you. sister. Let's talk about your sister. Can <laughs> 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 we just keep her on the show and she... bring on the sister <laughs> on the show? How hot is your sister? Wait, wait, how hot? Oh, oh, <laughs> is your sister older or younger? She's older, she's 36. She's older. All right, she's okay. old? And, yep. uh, let me introduce you to my friend Joelle. Right, she's, she's 36. She's, 36. she's a grandmother. She's a teacher, okay. and she's quite cool. But she speaks no English. I always speak Spanish, so uh, I'll, I'll give you her. Yeah. Well, what's, what's her... That's so all what's, him, that's all what's, him. What's, what's, her, what's her experience? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go big on this one. Actually, okay. I have a un anuncio parroquial. How do you say that? Like a, okay. a rant. A rant, no. yeah. Rant. Give us your rant. I'm, I'm, of this, like, <laughs> or your sister, or because of my sister. So yes. imagine if that happened to me. Okay, no, so no, no, no. Okay, so basically, and it's si. okay. It's good. Okay, then I'm gonna keep it locked. Yeah. No, no, you give it. Give, oh. give it. Hey, wait, wait, firstly, let's well, first of all, let's, let's, let's do a shot, let's do a quick shot, and then, and then tell her the rules of this podcast. Okay. Okay. Tell her the, the, the rules are we're taking a shot. Take a shot. Take the whole thing. No, not half ass. Let's go. Tell her the rules of the shop, this shop These cast. These people. Okay. Shop cast. All right, go ahead. <laughs> no. Say whatever you want. Say whatever you want. You can swear. You can't insult can't. any group of people unless they're short. This is my people over okay. here. <laughs> this is my people. Okay, so people. Okay, go on this right, rant. Let's hear on, on your sister's behalf. And we're going to clip this and send it to your sister. Motherfuckers. Yes, so, motherfuckers. Yeah. Here's the thing. You, if you are a paisa and you're watching this, learn something. Venezuelan girl and uh, Venezuelan girls, this camera, okay. And I have my girls over there so that they can support me. Yeah. We are out fronted. We don't like this. I text you and then I disappear because that's what my sister keeps getting. You know, like we dated yesterday and then I won't text you again for like a week and then I will be like, ¿Qué pasa, mamacita? Right. Fuck you. Can you do that again? Can you do that again? Do that again? <laughs> Recently divorced, probably yeah. got half of what he has. So. Yeah, also happy and just wanted to enjoy life, you know, which yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't get if you're Have looking for a, yeah. a, a husband. Yeah, yeah. She's not looking for a husband, yeah. but be like decent, stupid Sergio. So what he did is that he they were uh, kind of dating or something, and then one day he ghosted her. And I was like, like, innocent Carla, I told her, no, 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 chill. If he doesn't want to be with you anymore, he will tell you because he's a man, right? Wrong. Sergio's not a man. Sergio's no. not a man. Well, so apparently, exactly, exactly. Game. So apparently in here, if a, guy, if a guy goes a girl, that's the way he decently says, I had enough, thank you very much. Well, no, that's not the way to do it. You have to, if you were man enough to enjoy it, Right? Yeah. You should be man enough to say, look, you're beautiful, mamacita, sos hermosa, pero ya pues me aburrí. Ah, 
sí, ok. Entonces, he never said that to her. We're still, we are still waiting for him to show up and said that he was bored. Where are all the fucking women like this in this world right now? Where are here, all the women like this? Here, like, she, well, my sister is one of these. Right and she gets, yeah. hey, then, why did you bring your sister here? What the hell? Sister. What that? She Dude. needs to cut the thing with this because she's on Tinder. Oh. I sometimes, yes, of course, yes. Sometimes I select people for her. Yes, I no, do. Uh, you yeah. swipe people yeah. for her? Yeah. She's, well, wait, she's 36? Yeah. And you oh. swipe people for her? <laughs> I don't swipe 36s. I go from 18 to 26. What? You should get that. I need to open my eyes. See, see. Yeah, open. And so you can find her sister. Yeah. Probably. And also, she's uh, recently divorced. So she's cool. She's cool. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she's not cool. looking for a husband. Yeah, so. Yeah. My Do you want to throw up her Tinder on the screen? Can we just fucking flash a photo of her? This is what this podcast is about. Look, yeah. we're, me and Andrew are Cupid's. Wouldn't yeah. you like to go on a romantic adventure? Romantic, yeah. Her sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To back to bed as well. she's an independent woman. She's, she's not looking woman. for money or whatever. Yeah. She's kind. She's very well educated. Can she cook? She cooks. Can she clean? She cleans. Damn. <laughs> so she keeps dating. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, and this is like the general idea I want to uh, kindly say. Yeah. So if you're coming here, you must know Paisas, and I'm sure Paisa woman too. It's just that the experience she has had with, with men, right? Mm -hmm. They are so polite, so polite, that they try to avoid confrontation, which is kind of good. With Paisa men or women? Uh, all Paisas. For all Paisas. Yeah, okay. let's agree uh, with that. So they try to avoid confrontation, to not be rude or to not be... I get that, right? But there are times in life where you have to confront people. You gotta get the ball. Are you saying, yes. are you saying that Venezuelans are, are, are more direct, you're more like cold, not cold, but you know what I mean, to the See, point? Exactly, exactly. Because in here, they think that if you go to the point, you're rude. But wait, we, we sat in a cafe, and uh, this is this is, this is is coming back. Oh, by the way, uh, it's gonna. I'm going to come back to what you said. Many things. But, um, but the reason that she's on this show today... <laughs> yeah, what? Because, because I, wait, I almost invited myself. She invited herself onto the podcast, but there were very <laughs> famous quotes that she dropped during our meeting. Oh, right, right. We were in a deep business meeting, and she said, even my sad shit is happy. And I was like, Boom. holy shit. Drop the mic. Even my sure. sad shit is happy. And then oh. she said... <laughs> and then she, she, she said... She said... Um, what was it, the Leo comment? I'm a Leo, but what? But like, it was just random, crazy ass shit. On and on. <laughs> and this is why she's here today, because she speaks her mind, and that's the type of people that we want Thank on the show. Thank you very much. So we can blow the fuck up with people hating, loving, I, and you want to hate me, stuff. hate me big. All right, go big or go home. Do your worst. Boom, yeah, drop the mic again. Fuck. Can we, Andrew, we need some classes from her, man. We should just do some... <laughs> I'm crying on the house. Like, what did I say? I can, yeah, I can handle all the drama. Yeah. But anyway, I, I do agree with you um, on... On the Paisa culture. On the Paisa culture. So, yeah. for example, for some reason, maybe it's a Colombian culture. Uh, yeah. For some reason, Colombians... So I was just talking to my friend uh, earlier today about Colombians not accepting responsibility when they do something wrong. Yeah. Like, for example, like uh, you catch them in a lie or they are late to an appointment mm. or they did something wrong exactly. at, at work or whatever. And you're like, what the fuck happened? I had do this. COVID. The, or, no, it's not even I had COVID. Oh. You know, it's like, well, what, what, what happened oh, was that... Um, lo que pasa es que... Yeah. Lo que pasa es que... Oh. que uh, you know, like... Estamos there, para mejorar. Yeah, yeah, like... No, no, it's not even that. That's, that's almost responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, right, you're but, right, yeah. But Colombians don't own up to responsibility. Why is that, though, Andrew? Because you're Colombian. Um, because there's shame. There's shame in owning up to the fact that you because, fucked up. Uh, and, and people don't want to, they don't want to own up to this shame. And I mean, one of the, one of the big expressions that we use in Colombia is que pena. Yeah. Like literally we use que pena for everything. I think that's the first thing that a baby Colombian learns. Yeah, like when you're born, ah, que pena, que pena, mamá, te destruí. Que pena, mamá, te destruí. But uh, for a Colombian, lo siento, me equivoqué. That's very no, rare. That's never, very rare. Never heard it's that. more like, me, me, no, what? I, I ran over your family because I'm a terrible driver. Never. Que pena. Que pena. Mate a tu mamá y tu bebé y tu abuelo. Que pena. Que pena. Oh, okay, no problem. Que pena. In the Colombian dictionary, if you open it, there's only one word. Two. Que pena. So for those, of, for those of you guys okay. that are coming to Colombia and, um, and, and hit, uh, you know, butt heads with this culture clash yeah realize that this is what happens so but, but it's not 
malintent. Yeah. It's no, not no, exactly. malicious. It's cultural. It's, it's, it's cultural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I've something that you're that, yeah. born with, that, right? Yeah. We learned that while we're here. After 10 years, at, at the beginning, I was very fed up with it. I was like so angry, and I was like, man, people don't even stop. When I'm walking across the zebras here, like, what the fuck? Where and I've seen you nearly fight them, them on the Yeah, zebra. like, nearly fight them. Now I'm at the point where, like... Que pena. Yeah, que pena. Que pena. Que pena. I'm trying to cross yeah, here. Trying, trying, trying to cross the road. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but, yeah, we yeah. get... Yeah, like, you so get yeah. used to it. Yeah. So you get used to it. And then when you get to, like, a country, for example, we were in Mexico, where we're going to go across the crosswalk, and they stop for you. You're like, and we're shocked. We're like, what the fuck you want? We buy them a drink, and they take the drink, and they drive off with the drink? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. like what, what do you want? What do you want from me? You want me to step on the road so you yeah, can run yeah, over? Yeah, 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 it's cultural shock. It's like culture shock. It's like reverse culture There's shock. There's a reason for that. Like, uh, historical reason. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Oh, sure. Yeah, you're I'm getting smart. Came on this. Okay, cool. yeah, I'm very smart. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting smart on this one, all right? So, here's the thing. Uh, unlike in Venezuela, when the Cristobal Colon thing, we got the southern Spain people, right? And they're like, very, I can't In here, they got the. No, for real, this is for real. Yeah, yeah. In here, in Colombia, you got the more conservative type of Spanish people. So, yeah. they pretty much tamed us here in Colombia with religion, mm. that's how they yep. ruled, and also they uh, taught people to be that way, to be muy servicial, like very submissive, mm -hmm. so yep. that is why they really get, because they get super uncomfortable with confrontation, it's not like they're doing it uh, because they want to outsmart you, they but really that, get that uncomfortable. Is that a Latin American general? I will say Colombian, but... Because in, in, in and I, I've said this on other... Uh, on other episodes in the Cur in the Caribbean, Caribbean, uh -huh. Caribbean, whatever you say. Caribe. Um, Caribe. I was born in Guyana, La Guyana Inglesa, British Guyana, but big places in the Caribbean, Guyana, Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica. Jamaicans are from a certain tribe. Okay. Like they're from the Ashanti tribe and other tribes. Ashanti, they, isn't they, that a singer? That's where she got because of, from the uh -huh. tribe. Yo, RDI, jump in! I'm getting a smart on this one. Jump in! I'm getting a smart on this one. But those, the, those guys, like Jamaicans, stronger, I would say more aggressive, more like you don't fuck with Jamaicans. Everybody right. knows you don't fuck with Jamaicans. Right. In our country, and in Trinidad, oh, everything's good, yeah. Those guys, like, you don't fuck with Jamaicans because everybody knows, like, and that is that is the truth, depending on where you came from and where the slaves or whatever exactly. went to. Exactly. It's a different personality of, of, exactly. of people. And I never even thought about that. Well, uh, on my tour, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah. we'll get there, I yeah. guess. Uh, I explain that to people because it's sometimes easy to get mad about something, but if you understand where it's really coming from, you get less like uh, emotional about it so yeah. now i understand what you're saying it's not something bad they're, they're not do they're not avoiding confrontation because you're stupid and they're not no they have been taught to be like that yeah. and they know no other way and also they get really uncomfortable when you confronted them yeah. and that is something that keeps happening but i have uh, learned because in venezuela we're way different we're and also from caracas from where i am we're pretty much costeños yeah yeah caracanas what See, do you know is caracanas? Caracanas. but we're like 30 minutes away from the coast okay. so we're very much like people from barranquilla or cartagena you like to dance i love dancing i mean i was born dancing okay if you know that right? nobody was born dancing no, no, I me neither, born me neither. Dancing. <laughs> so that's the thing so yeah. in here the Choque cultural. ¿Cómo se dice choque cultural? Culture clash. Culture shock. Culture, culture shock. shock. It's big uh, with Venezuelans and paisas, specifically paisas, because they're very polite. They're, and they're very, very kind. conservative. And that's something that you mentioned when we had a coffee, because right. you said, like, sometimes you feel sort of awkward going si. to certain places, si. and you're like, ah, because... She's the weird one. I'm the weird one. I'm the weird one. But when yeah. you think, because in comparison, like, in the average... And we're not going to generalize, because there's a lot of different... Paisa. Yeah, you're right. You know, but in general, you feel like you're the the black sheep for the. Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was weird in Venezuela too. So if no you. Shit. No, right. So oh, if you shit. bring that you're here. You wore your, you wore your little sister sunglasses to the podcast. You're fucking weird. Let's go. Well, but actually, I love you. But that's a very good point that, that yeah. paisas, uh, especially, I mean, if, if you're coming to Medellin and you're from another country, you're, and you come here wearing your chanclas, smelling like shit, 
No, you don't take showers, you grow your beard, and you don't trim it. Um, who's, you, you come out here <laughs> in shorts. Just describe you. <laughs> uh, who does that? Oh, you just, wear your chanclas. Yeah, you, you come up with your like chanclas. Chanclas or flip flops. Uh, no, but what I'm, 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 I'm getting okay. to the point. I'm getting to the point. Uh, you come in your, 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 your cargo shorts and you're, you're, you're ready to go backpacking and shit. <laughs> You come into a conservative ass They're very conservative, yes. city. Yeah. Like yeah. these people are conservative. Like yeah. uh, 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 Paisas are renowned conservatives. Yeah. And you come on the metro wearing your fucking flip flops with feet that you haven't washed in a couple days and nails that you I haven't cut. Yeah. Um, you're You've gonna be. Them. You're gonna. You're, you're gonna that be people, uh, yeah. looked at kind of sideways and Eyebrow. and you're going to be like what well, I thought I was coming to the jungle yeah, and it is jungle here but, but no, they're very conservative very. And, and the jungle's under their armpits and, isn't it like, t- exactly. <laughs> like today feet. was eight, like today was like 80 degrees right it was like super hot but every single paisa on the street is wearing jeans uh-huh. pants can, can I confess something? something can I confess something what's that you saw it what it was the first time in nearly nine years that I walked out with flip flops today. <laughs> you cool. saw them, right? Pretty cool. Pretty, cool. pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty cool flip right? flops. I'm like, and I felt sc- I'm literally. Wait, like, you walk out literally, I was walking around like this, and I felt like self conscious. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, doing a little fucking penguin walk because I'm like, yo, some vice is gonna see me and like yell and throw a fucking beer or like an egg at me, and I came back. <laughs> yeah. They're all fucking flipping them off on the, on the, on the, in, the in the audience. Um, so I did wear flip flops. Why? Because I got my nails did. Oh. And also it was very ah, hot. That's very gay really and, and paisa. <laughs> I'm a gay paisa. So the world knows. I'm a gay paisa. No, no, don't fucking. Unless you guys want to hit me up on Tinder. He's a paisa. I'm a paisa. I'm a paisa. I'm a paisa. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you mentioned something about um, yeah. uh, doing tours. Oh, see. Can you can you explain that to us? Right. So, um, <clears throat> when we arrived, it, okay, okay. When we arrived, to, he keeps waiting. To, to, Sorry, she's never been on camera before, so it's real weird because she really, like, keeps going like this. Look over here, and she's like, "Why are you waving at me?" Like, ah, I, I want to say this is a pretty cool studio and very good equipment. I'm gonna show you what my cute equipment is, yeah, yeah. so you can know why I'm what so lost. What is that? This is <laughs> everything I use when I do my videos. So here, I feel like I'm famous. All right. Okay, you are famous. Thank you very much. All right. So about the tours, uh, when we arrived here, we arrived to Envigado, which is at the south of Medellin. Not technically Medellin, it's a different city, but mm-hmm. anyway, super close. So I fell in love with that area strongly, and I ended up working in a hostel here for two years. I'm oh, sorry, I loved it, and I found a passion. In Envigado? No, in Poblado. In Poblado, okay. Yeah, well, okay, now that you ask, <laughs> when, I, when I was going through this meltdown, I realized I couldn't keep working from home because that really got in my head. Like, I was, I'm a freelancer, graphic designer, so uh, all day at the computer, blah, blah, blah. I got super depressed and I said, I want to go work on something that has nothing to do with computers. I'm sick of web development. And I started working in a hostel. And at first I was like, I don't know, I just want to get out of house, you know? And I fell in love deeply with that job. And I found my passion, which was helping people that were as lost as I was, you know? Wow, wow. That's cool. That's very cool. Was Carlos jealous? No, no, no. He's, he's very smart. He Good. knows that thing doesn't work with me. So he... Yeah, yeah. yeah he backed he, up. He backed see, up. he's a genius. Like, yeah. I don't know yeah. how he does. Okay, anyway. So... He makes um, good ramen. <laughs> he makes a good ramen. Yeah, so he cooks. He knows how to make me happy. Yeah. Right, so when I was working at the hostel, I started recommending people to go, of course, to the main places here. Comuna 13, Centro, Guatapé, all those places, which, yes, of course, are a must. But there were so many people that came to me and said, like, Joe, can you recommend me something very local, very typical? I don't want to go where the tourists go anymore. So what would you recommend? So I always send them to Envigado because I knew it was good. Yeah. But they came back at me like, this, there's nothing there. Why, why you send me there? And I was like, no, I, I will show you. I will show you tomorrow. You will see. 
and I started giving people tours just like that. Mm-hmm. You know, to really show them what's on Because they went to the wrong place in Envigalo. Yeah, mean, so for those of you guys watching, um, Envigalo is south of Medellin. Uh-huh. Uh, you could take the metro to, to, to Envigalo. Yeah, and it's also a non-touristic area, so no one speaks English. It's, it's, I can understand why you feel lost if you don't speak the yeah. language. Yeah, Envigado is like famous for like an empanada. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. El machetico. El machetico. El machetico. Yeah, the big ass empanada. Exactly, but the thing is that Envigado actually has a lot of answers for you to understand why uh, Medellin is the way it is. Yeah. Because Envigado was one of the first places that actually developed when the Spanish people came here, blah, 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 blah. So the, the city kind of started developing there from south to north. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting things there, right, that I thought these people are missing, you know. It's okay that you go to the main spots and maybe, depending on the type of trip you're having, you don't want to go to history school with me. <laughs> but if yeah. you want to, I can definitely show well, why, you. How do you know so much about Envigado? Why Envigado? Because you lived there? Yeah, I, I lived there, but also, like, when I started giving people these small tours at the at the hostel, they asked me so many things I didn't know. Yeah. So I said, you know what, I'm going to the culture house and the fr- the uh, historiador, the historian, the historian. the historian from the culture house of Miguel became one of my friends and he explained everything to me. And he said like, listen, if you're going to do a tour, you have to do it properly because yeah. it's really important that you don't yeah. say things that aren't real, you right, know, right. or that you miss things that are very important. Right. So he pretty much gave me the whole class. Mm-hmm. And also I did That's a cool. research in the Museo Otra Parte, which is also in Envigado. Yeah. And it's definitely something people will skip if you don't show them. Right. No one will tell them to go there. To no. go to Museo Otra Parte, I've been there, you've been there? Yeah. 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 Right, so it's a whole story, right? So I try to show them because there's a lot of people that come here to Medellin thinking what you said, that you're going to the jungle or yeah. I'm going to the third world and oh, Latinos and mm, you know. Yeah. I can be and, in my shorts and no uh-huh. shoes. Yeah. And it's also smelly. these people have the, the, you know, the series you see in Netflix and part narcos. of the... Narcos, we can call narcos. them all. Narcos. Okay, yeah. good. Narcos. Worst and, fucking... You know, whatever. We'll talk about I that just later. like to show them, like, mm. uh, no, it's, it's not just that. And also in my tour, they I get a lot of those answers, uh, questions, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, what about the card? Oh, what about? And I'm like, ah, I don't know. So here's the story of Amiga, yeah, you know, yeah, because you know I like that. to flip that, and it's easy to flip that on a big out. That's why I fell in love with it. Also, Savaneta. Like at the south, you get a proper look of how paisas really live. Yeah. Poblado Laureles, that is posh. Uh, touristic area which is also part of the reality but if you go to the south that would be a perfect view because if you go to the center of centro uh, or north it's a bit extreme that's also part of the reality but if you want to see extreme. it's too extreme so you have these two places you know Poblado which is super posh and then you have centro which is the completely yeah. opposite and sometimes I feel these uh, travelers go home thinking that is Medellin and really it's not so you throw them right in the middle uh, and then Vigado. Like, at south, but uh, uh, conceptually, yes, in the middle. It's conceptually, in, in the, the two extremes, you can find exactly. the culture. You can exactly, find, yeah, and it's cool, yeah. medium class, so it's not luxurious, it's not expensive, but everything works well. You get good safety feel on South Medellin, you know, and that's something I really like to point out to this is that, is that where you would tell, if a traveler is coming, and so we're going to, I need to understand how you find your people. Um, your because wife. I'm famous, Joe. Because obviously. you're famous, yeah. You wear a yellow shirt wherever you go. Sorry. I'll get lost. Yeah, like, what, what, can we talk about the yellow shirt? <laughs> Let's talk about the yellow shirt. Let's talk about the yellow shirt. Let's talk about the yellow shirt. What yellow shirt? What yellow shirt? What? I don't see color. I don't ever see what color. Is it? Why, 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 do why, your work. What is this yellow shirt? What is it? Right, color. so this is a painting, actually. I just uh, took it and, you know, since I'm a graphic designer, I took the graphics and turned it into a shirt, but the actual painting is yellow. Yeah. So I said, like, you know what? I'll go big or go home. So, so the so the background of the painting, when you first did it, it was yellow? It was yellow. Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. That's I just cool. wanted to really... And why did you wear your little sister's sunglasses tonight? <laughs> because I wanted to feel like a soul rebel, something like that. A soul, soul rebel. A soul rebel. Is that, like Is that a, a song you heard somewhere? Yeah. Okay, maybe cool. some Jamaican guy or... Some Jamaican guy will tell us about this shit coming on our podcast. Yeah, his name is Bob Marley, Joel, Soul Rebel. I 
<laughs> so I got a question. Let's say I'm an artist so right. from another country or well, maybe even in Colombia. Good luck. Um, yeah. and I, okay, well, that's part of the question. And I want to sell my stuff and I want to become renowned. Um, how hard is that here in, in Medellin? Well, I don't know if you're asking the right person or the wrong person, okay. but I'll give you my perspective. It's hard AF because... Um, the well, what's, what's AF? As fuck. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I didn't ask you that. I asked, I asked our fucking cat. As wait, wait. Fuck. It's, so can you start over that sentence? Right. <clears throat> so I don't know if you're asking the right person yeah. or the wrong person, but I'll give you my perspective. To sell artwork here is hard as fuck. As fuck. Because if you're not hooked up to one of these galleries or, I mean, I don't know how that works, but yeah. if you're not there and you're just no one, it's really hard. It's really hard because um, it doesn't even matter if you're selling low or high. It's not about the price. Mm. I think it's still developing that part of the culture, you know, to appreciate these type of things that people actually appreciate them, but with words. So if you appreciate something with money, I think that they will get there somehow here in Medellin, but I think it's, start, it's still very green, you know? Yeah. In Venezuela, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, whatever, if you like it, how much, give me, I like it, I want to have a home. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's well, it. here it's like, in every house that you go to, there's going to be a Jesucristo. <laughs> See? <laughs> for, yeah, for sure. There's going to be, be a little Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. 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 The Last Supper. And they will spend money on yeah. that. And classic flower. La Virgen Maria. Yeah. La, 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 la Virgen de, de los whatever. Si, si, si. There's going si. to be like all these Jesus religious things and you bring this to the house? <laughs> They're like, Satan. And then they see, and then, and then, and then they see the penis ant coming out from the underworld, yeah. and you're, you're like, <laughs> and then I tell them I was depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you can but, say that. but then you have the other, uh, the other side of the the uh, spectrum, the art spectrum, which is the graffiti, which exactly. is very well renowned. No, like, now nobody knows it. Now, well, for years now. For no, years. no, no, but like, nobody bought it. Nobody exactly. Saw it. Exactly. Everybody exactly. went to go That's see it. Point. Yeah, everyone. Exactly. Exactly. Every gringo came to, to, to take exactly. a quick photo and a selfie, but the local market. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is not about me, but it is about me because it's part of my podcast. Uh, this motherfucker right here. That was his old house. This was where I used to live. No, this this was actually part of an exhibit here. This was one of few things that made the front page of the newspaper here. True story. I was the only foreigner ever to be invited to a certain exhibit. Really? I exhibited five pieces. I was on the front page of the newspaper and I sold zero of my five pieces. I believe you. And there it is right here. Right? You painted this? It's actually a photo. Okay. It's a photo but printed on canvas of mine. So, Good. you know, I, I feel that. And, and no, not only that, I have other people invite me to put it in their galleries. But not give you money for it. No, no, but you, by the way here, I don't know if this is the culture everywhere else in terms of art, you can tell me yes or no. Um, you pay for the printing and the development of your work and then you get 50% of the sale. Same. So for me, when I was a struggling artist, that was really expensive for me to print on that quality of To get of zero canvas, money, yeah. To, and, and, and I printed five of them. So. Uh, I prostituted myself, not literally, or I, well, I probably would have done oh that God, just to get in that gallery. And, and, and literally, I was the ugliest prostitute on the block because nobody bought shit. I got shit. You should have took a picture of a fucking baby Jesus. Or yeah, see, you know, see, sell some baby Jesus at DS uh, you and fucking pull out of the sold it. Out. I know. Well, I, put it on t shirts, like badly printed t shirts. Listen, listen. Baby Jesus has been fucking. Front sold page of the out. newspaper, a pamphlet, social media, zero. Sales. A lot of people say, oh, you're yeah, so beautiful. Zero but again, sales. we're talking about a conservative culture. Oh, so, exactly. so uh, I guess that's my question to you is like, how do you handle. Being an eccentric, because uh, you're obviously eccentric. She has a curry fucking flavored shirt. Yeah, an She's eccentric, eccentric. And I don't care. In, in a conservative world here. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Oh, yes. Here's the thing. Uh, I tried. I tried to fit here with oh. my artwork for, mm, I will say, two or three years. And then I literally said, you know what? I don't care about this anymore. I'm going to go outside Colombia. So I opened um, a Patreon page. Right. So people from other countries, if they want to help me or support or get artwork, because my artwork artwork is 
uh, available to, to download and print wherever you are on this Patreon page. I also built my website thinking about people from outside and I also just started sharing my work with zero expectations for real, <laughs> which is really hard to say if you're a creative person mm -hmm. because you don't do something to have it at your house. Yeah, yeah, no. You want to be exposed, sure, you want well. to be celebrated. So I basically renounced to that and I said, fine, Colombia, you win. You kick my ass, mm -hmm. good for you. So now I'm starting to, I will always be here, you know, mm -hmm. it, and I will go with with them in their develop. And I know there will be a time where people won't consider art as some fancy thing, because really it's not. There is fine art, and it's called fine art for a reason, but this is not fine art, but mm -hmm. it, it has a price anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I know Colombia will get to that point with where medium class people will be happily, you know, spending money on artwork, I know. But I won't sit and wait for that. So I built uh, this my website, and I built. What's your website? Litacandela.com. How do you spell that? What? L. Okay. L. A. A. P. A. I. 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 people I know that care and you don't have to be rich to pay for artwork. Did you don't know that? You don't have to be rich. So they are able to do that and that's how I'm starting, starting to develop my brand and also, and this is an official announcement, yeah. this year I said there's a side of me which is this that you don't get on my website yeah. or Instagram because I try to keep it professional, yeah. boring. Yeah, it's boring, yeah. It's boring. So this year I said, you know, I'm not famous, I'm not selling, whatever, I'll do whatever on my Instagram. So that's what I'm doing right now. And actually people are kind of liking it. So it, it gets me kind of turned. I'm like, really? I spent 12 hours painting this and you like a video of me talking? I hate you, but whatever. Thank you for but your life. But you gotta life. do it. Yeah, I know. Thank you for your life. Keep, keep, keep Can you pass that guitar over here? <laughs> guitar for a second, Andres. Keep pass that guitar. Pass that guitar. So anybody watching this, um, if you're watching episode number 57 with Lita Candela, uh, as a present yeah. to my ex-partner that used to live upstairs with me, Andrew Jones Messia. <laughs> What? I'm going to pay. I don't want that painted though. Yes, it's going to get painted. No, because it ruins the sound. Ah, I got, I got, I got like four guitars. I got four guitars. Okay, so Andrew's going to give me one of those. He's, 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 he knows the thing. Okay. He's going to pass it. How does he know what the present was? Because I already, you've never touched the guitar in your life. I know what's coming. Look, he's going to have another guitar that can be painted. I know. So I'm going to take one of Andrew's four guitars. We're gonna paint that up. I've got. I've We're got gonna retune it, and then on episode number fifty-eight, Andrew will be playing a yes. Lita Candela guitar, yes. and you guys will see what she's about. All right, all right. Yeah, paint this one. Hey, this one. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And when you see this guitar, and you like this guitar. We're going to start shipping guitars all around the world. Amen to that. Lita Candela. Yes. Boom. Yes. And that's just hey, my that's announcement. Great. That's great. I have another that's announcement. Great. I have another no, no, announcement. No, no, no. Gabriela, por favor. Do you know oh. what I'm going to say? What's that? No? Gabi. Do okay. you know her? Gabi, 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 Gabi. I know Gabi. people. Oh, you know people. Right, so here's an announcement. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be Gabi, as Gabi. awesome as possible. Okay. So I brought you gifts. Oh. What? You brought us gifts? What? The first person to bring it. Just the first person. What gift. the hell is going on? This All is right. how awesome I am. Wait, uh, okay. So, have you been a good boy this year? No, 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 no,
and you've got a sticker. You've got no, it's not really a sticker. So okay, thank you. Just, you. Okay, this is great. You just stuck it can in we, between. Can we open it? Yeah, now? of course. Please. Oh. I hope you like this. I'm gonna undo this like I undo my lingerie. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Wow. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. Wait, I'll tell you right now before I unfold this shirt. Wow. If this motherfucker that is, is extra small, I'm gonna feel it's insulted. Not, it's not. It's better be a medium. It's really not. It's a medium. It's a medium. I'm awesome. Okay. It's a medium. Yours is L. L. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. You I love have it? been lifting. I love it. <laughs> I have oh, been you guys love it? I love it. Weights. I saw the whole uh, yeah, t-shirt awesome. situation. Thank so you. I would like to take this welcome. off right now. I was Thank thinking the much. same thing, but yeah, yeah. we got. I'm gonna go, I'm go out with this. I'm gonna go out with this. Mine says, mine says raw. Right. Mine says not sorry. This is like how I have to have sex. Raw. You got raw dog. And this is when I have sex. I say I'm not sorry. So I, pretty much it's our sexual I preferences. Know. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> this one's weird. How did you know? Sorry, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. How sorry, did you know that I wear no condoms? <laughs> You're a sailor. You're a fucking Colombian I mean, sailor. I know everything. <laughs> okay, condoms so. are for women. <laughs> anyway. This got really weird. <laughs> right, let me tell you something. One time, I'm gonna give you guys anybody that. Hey, this is for. Hey, if, if you guys are like Catholics and shit. Watching this show, you're in the wrong place. See, One I'm time, not. Andrew said. Mm, 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 mm. Andrew said. Me? This time, this I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna put this. I'm gonna put this out on the next episode. If you want to hear what Andrew said about being romantic, tune into episode number 58, where Andrew's gonna say it himself. What, what what it means like to be to be romantic. You remember what you said? You better come up with something. What did good. you say about being romantic, Andrew? I remember. What did you say? No, 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 no. On episode 58. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a classy romantic man. Mm. Right? Are you? Yeah. Dang, I like your glasses. They look better when they're down. Are oh! you? Oh! Want to wear those? No, I don't want to wear that. I'll wear it, I'm not man. a little I love looking like a broke Akon. <laughs> <laughs> that is the swag, yes. This is swag. Yeah. Yeah. Lita, 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 Lita. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. You're very Thank you welcome. for these. Yeah. You are awesome. Okay. Can you Thank tell you. people, like, if they want to buy your art, where, sí. where they can find you? Okay, so here's the list. Okay, so you can find me on Patreon, and there are different tiers. If you don't know what Patreon is, I don't know how popular that is on your country, whatever. It's a website, it's a platform where you can join with a subscription, and you can have it just for one month, and you can have it from $3. And depending on the plan you choose, you get different type of artwork. And you get the digital uh, files, so you can print them. Also, you get to support me. Yeah. yeah. Also, also, if you join the maximum um, plan, which is forty-five dollars, which is really like affordable. Yeah, yeah. After three months, you get a hoodie with maybe one of this. Uh, I would love a hoodie of this. Yeah. Well, so join my patron. So I will join it. I will join it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I do a lot of things for a free hoodie. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Okay, but wait, you know, wait, but wait, wait, like wait, and, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm so, wow, it's okay, see, like this weird. is getting, okay, wait, 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 <laughs> that's a, a, your words, not mine, suck a dick for a hoodie, this that's is your not words, not mine, your way. words, not mine, right, said, okay, wait, all right, wait, oh. okay, wait, so let's get back, just the tours for a real quick second, because see? you showed me something I never heard of this platform, what's the platform see? called? Also, thank you very much. Um, if you are planning to come here and you want me to show you Envigado of the South, you can book me on Show Around. And I don't want to be uh, show arrogant. Showaround.com? Showaround.com. Yeah. I don't want to sound like I think too much of myself, but... But you're the shit. You're the Lita Candela. In Medellin, I have the most reviews, positive reviews on that app. I checked it out. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't bullshitting and she does have a five star yeah. uh, blowing room Actually, reviews. Actually, yesterday I got my 21 review. Yeah? Yeah. That's amazing. I got the, the I'm the second review person. Oh, really? Yeah, I show guys all the strip clubs in Colombia. <laughs> It's show around. Yeah. You're kidding. Show around. Show around my underwear. Show around other people's underwear. No, I'm just yeah. Actually, throw, that's cool. Throw, throw like around. Second. Throw around this underwear. <laughs> so, so show, okay, so you got Patreon, show around. Yeah. Instagram, probably. Instagram, Lita Candela. Patreon, Lita Candela. Facebook. Facebook, Lita Candela. Show around, Carla. From Medellin. 
Well, that's the way to end it off. Carla. 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 No, but yo, but, but seriously speaking, um, last week we did Shameless Plug. Um, as people know, Andrew and I are, um, you know, re- releasing a series of uh, Airbnbs, a little higher end Airbnbs. And um, yeah, don't come with your broke ass trying to uh, yeah. rent it for like a thousand dollars. No, 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 no broke ass shit. And um, <laughs> actually, Lita Candela right here, and we're we're in talk, we're in negotiations si. Uh, si. with this kick ass girl. Um, I think that you know, I still have to discuss this with Andrew because it's 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 really new. But I think that. This girl is potentially going to become uh, the face because me and Andrew, we certainly have faces made for uh, radio. Um, and so we're going to maybe make her be the face of or um, or, or, or oh, brand or, or, or properties. Ooh, I like that. And so when she, I'm hearing this. Yeah. So I we, we talked about that. Just thinking about, and she's going to take you. You can't wear this fucking yellow shirt. <laughs> I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> yeah. I've got like five types of personalities. I will show. I'm You'll show the good part. No, but, but, but the, the beautiful thing is if you guys stay um, in any of our properties, if anybody decides to stay in our properties, this lovely young lady will show you and the God on other different places and make sure that you have a non-boring very eccentric time here in sure. Medellin, and um, no I'm, drugs, no drugs, no yeah, drugs. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's like a, no a mushroom high. Wait, wait, not sorry. Hey, wait, wait, not wait, wait. Sorry. Yeah. Not sorry. Sorry. sorry, not sorry. I actually met a girl here named Sorry. Oh, really? Yeah, too. And I was like, ah, oh, sorry, not sorry, and she didn't find it funny anyway. Ah. But um, but seriously, this is actually, I think, part of the future of our brands coming up. Medellinhomes.com. Medellinhomes.com. And, if you uh, want that, comment that below. If you want me. Yeah. Uh, should she be the the face of MedellinHomes.com by the, by the Columbia Podcast guys? Vote. Yeah. Vote. vote. Or should I vote. be the face? Uh, <laughs> also think, vote, but vote also for me. Obviously. I will wear a bikini. I think, I think we should put that well, on. I will be naked. Put... Oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a bidding war. Hey, Andrew. You got question. my vote. <laughs> you got my I vote. Won. Question for you, Andrew. You would you Would you hang this in your house? Of course. Absolutely. And how much would you pay for it right now? I would. Let's okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, real talk, real talk. Real talk, yeah. Like, literally, I, think, I was gonna, when when we were talking, I would be like, what if I offered you and you cut me off? You're like, yes. Yeah. I'm like, what if I I raised my glasses. No, what if, I, what, if, what if I offered you, you a thousand dollars? What if I off, uh, offered you a thousand dollars? Like, would you, would, like, S- because you were saying, like, I would never no, wait. sell this. S- wait, wait, that's, that's not, wait, that's not the final price. I'm going to back it up for him. because He's I'm my manager. You need oh, yeah, to talk work. to him. No, I'm going to offer it less. No, but like I said, like, it. what if I, just like pie in the sky dream, mm. offered you a thousand dollars for that, would you sell it? Because you were saying, like, I would never sell this. You had me, you hooked me. Yeah, you, you hooked me with so your little Would you line. sell it for a thousand? S-O-L-D. So old. Dang, now you can spell this shit? Now Just you now you're like, wait, 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 I think, we, I think we might have to hang this one up on one of the new houses. So, so we'll for, sell it. We'll no, sell for a thousand. We gotta give her a thousand. I already said it, man. You gotta give her a thousand. I negotiated half price. No, no, no. no thousand, thousand. Shut up. Shut up. We gotta give her a thousand. Really people are gonna, 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 gonna come on this show okay. thinking that we're just gonna buy anything. Okay. I'm serious. Hey, wait. Firstly, He's serious. He's oh, serious. oh <laughs> shit. Oh. Are you crying? Give me a fucking guess that up, Anita Candela. I mean, that's what it's worth to me. I mean, I don't know somebody else. That's the word. That's the word. I would buy it for that. I just kissed on my fucking. What the fuck is this show? What is this show? You're making me cry. What is this show? No, no, no. He. He's the guy that with the bank account. <laughs> I'm over here trying to negotiate money down, and Andrew's like, no. No, I he's think giving he's me a, a, a thousand, right, whatever he said. I mean, I, would, I, I honestly see that, and I see, like, an expression. Yes. That I, and I would hang it up in one of our new uh, apartments. Yeah. I mean, she gave us a shirt, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I mean, think anybody gives right. me a shirt. <laughs> No, 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 but from the I beginning, like literally, you guys cut me off and we yeah, can go yeah. back. I, like, was, I she, was what, joking. No, when, when I said, what if I offered? She just took a and shot. And she's like, I stole. I'm like, I was going to say $1,000. And she was like, I was like, okay, well, maybe not. Everyone in the motherfucking crowd is crying right now. They're crying. I, I saw the pain thing, Mom. <laughs> like, why am I so? That's what it's worth to me, and a thousand. 
dollars is not like a ton of money, but yeah, we, yeah. we can well, we can hang that up. It is. It is for me. We, 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 we can hang that up in one of our new places. You guys, you make it better. Well, this is me. For real. Like, you can put the fucking glasses on. We don't need all of this up happening up on our show. Let me hide my feelings. Yeah, yeah. Hide your feelings. So anyway. Again, right. thank you, thank you guys for being on the Columbia podcast. Yeah. This was an amazing episode. It was yeah. one of the most different episodes that we've ever had. For sure. The second episode it. in our new location. Yeah, yeah. And lovely, lovely. Maybe we'll put that up there for the next episode. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I, I, got, I got a question. Anybody that would like to watch Lita Candela interview me and Andrew. And oh. split, split, you know, where she gets to go prepare for a week. And come back and be the host, and me and Andrew be the guest. If you're watching this, if we get more than ten people saying yes, ten, she's that's my family. Done. <laughs> that's your family. You're you're now. She's got ten last up. names. She's a Latina woman. It's like Hernandez See? Sanchez. Du, 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 du. You're yeah. fucked up. So now. we go. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on my head. Yeah, yeah. So if that happens, she's gonna interview us. I'd love to have her back. Would you love to have her back? I would love to have her back. Thank you. It would Thank be amazing. You. Thank you guys for watching the Columbia Podcast. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow. Make sure to follow her, Lita please, Candela, please. Oh. And, 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 and Carla in some other part. Yeah, show around. And yeah. Show around. Show around. Yeah. Right. So, Thank you for, for following. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next Thank time. You. Episode Woo! Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs>